Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms. About a year ago, I had a bandsaw mill on the property and we milled up three species of trees. We had some black walnut, we had pin oak, and hedge. When we were done milling it, we stacked and stickered it behind my shop and let it dry, but it wasn't covered, which means it's being exposed to the sun on at least the tops and the outsides. Now I have a place to store this milled lumber inside the Quonset hut. It'll be a little more protected. But a couple months ago, I noticed that my stack of walnut had fallen over and I'm worried that it might be ruined. So today we're going to restack all three types of wood and we're gonna try running this through a thickness planer and see how it comes out. Okay, so I just picked the thickness planer up today. It's my dad's and it actually needs new blades it's a really pretty nice unit, but it it's older too. Might need a little bit of work. Um, I was going to show you real quick. This is the cherry we got from Tony's Tractor Adventure. And I was commenting in the video, I helped Tony mill this at his house. And it was almost white with just a little bit of pink in it. That's been about a month ago, drying inside my Quonset hut. And now it looks almost like cedar. This is the piece of walnut I think we're going to work on. All of this has darkened. I'm curious to see what it's going to look like because some of that's just being dirty actually, but we'll see what it looks like when we take a little bit off of it. When I was a kid, my dad and my grandparents were always doing woodworking. They had a huge shop and everything they did at the time seemed normal, but now I don't know anyone who does that. <laughs> so as a kid, they were it felt like they were always planing lumber and I was catching the boards off the end and it seemed like you guys were always gluing up different pieces of wood. Just my memory as a child was they would always have thin strips of wood. They would glue it into bigger boards and then plane it down and that's how I guess how you got like a 2 by 12 without spending so much money or No, it's it's a matter of stability. Uh what I was just telling Brock a few minutes ago if you want to solid two foot wide tabletop you don't cut a two foot wide plank because it will bow and cup and twist but by cutting it into strips and inverting the grain you get a tabletop that's a lot more stable it won't it'll hold its shape better so even even though we've got some wide lumber here probably when it's used it'll be ripped down and glued back together so like i said a minute ago this planer needs new blades. I ordered them today, but hopefully we can get a few passes out of it and see how this, this uh, black walnut cleans up. This is a 15 inch wide, three horsepower planer manufactured by Grizzly. Now my family's put a lot of hours on this machine, but it hasn't been used in a few years and took a little bit of tinkering to get it operating smoothly. The other big thing besides the blades that we need to get done is hooking up the dust collector. I've actually got it here, just didn't take the time to set it up yet. 
And this puts off so many wood chips that it will really get clogged up in a hurry if you don't have a vacuum system set up on it. So one thing we found out for sure is you can't run this without a dust collector. It's uh, that's just a few passes and it's already got enough that it clogged up the machine. Okay, so that is a nice looking piece of wood. We'll just put a little water on it and show. I'm excited about the prospect with just the species we already have and having access to a planer, we should be able to do some cool some cool stuff. Yeah. Now this shows shows uh, quite a bit of grain, but it's not gotten as dark to it. That that cherry will darken with age. Or it, it's been my experience it does. Now this is still rough, so it's probably not gonna do the same thing, but Oh, it's starting to, that grain and coloration is starting to come out though. I stored some cherry for quite a while one time to let it dry and it got almost as dark as walnut. All right, well, let's go through the rest of the lumber and kind of see what kind of shape it's in. I don't think with those blades being dull, I'm not gonna put the hedge on there. That's way too hard. It's Osage orange if you're not familiar with it. Some of the hardest wood you're gonna find. So probably take the oak and that Osage orange and just get them stacked up. And most of this walnut's still good, but some of it's cupped pretty bad. So we'll have to see about that. Now we're going through restacking these and cleaning everything off of them. See how gray this one is? It's got some bowing right there. That was on the top of the stack getting hit by direct sun. That's why it's so grayed out. But you still have the brown underneath. I think we'll just stack them in the opposite direction and let them continue to dry. I'm going to be milling a lot more of this walnut in the near future. I've got one log that's really good size, at least 30 inches and probably 10 foot long that has a little bit of damage on one end, but should yield some really good lumber. I'm just deciding if I want to do it with the chainsaw mill or wait on a bandsaw mill. We actually had this stickered when we stacked it the first time, but that wood is all nasty from being outside and it's all wet. I don't want to have any mildew spots. So we're going to cut new stickers. And luckily that's pretty easy to do with the panel saw. If you guys haven't seen that video, this is a panel saw that my dad designed and built to facilitate this whole operation we run in here. I will put a link in the description or at the end of the video showing everything about this saw. One sheet of plywood should make us all the stickers we need for all this lumber. I know what I'm going to do with most of the oak, but I'd love to hear suggestions from you guys on what I should make from this walnut and the cherry. I think, even though this isn't a woodworking channel, I'll probably do a couple of projects building something out of this lumber whenever I get the right project in mind. Earlier I talked about the hedge. This piece of hedge is so heavy we can barely lift it. Its hedge is crazy. I can't wait to put this to use for something. Put it right here on the end. 
both stacks of oak that we're doing right now came out of one log. Uh, half of it is live edge, and half of it is actually dimensional lumber with straight sides. That log weighed about 4,000 pounds, but I'm still surprised how much wood we got from it. With each of these being a 2 by 12 by 12 that's a lot of value in lumber. All right, well, I feel good about getting this moved. Now that we've got it out of the weeds and we can actually get a good look at it, confident that most of, mostly all of this is still good usable lumber and these oak 2x12s I'm going to use them structurally I'm going to build some kind of a of a building or do something structural with them that's why I had those cut 2x12 but a lot of this walnut will be more for decorative use but anyway I appreciate you taking time to watch this video I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.